Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. What have I let myself in for? today's ride and uh, you find me doing the route that I did last week so the same 25 kilometer route out to the little villages and hamlets around Southwark and Portsdown Hill um, and it's just a nice route to do I'm on the uh, specialized today so that's the proper winter bike because the weather is proper winter kind of From here on in, it all started to get a bit punctury. So I got off the bike and had a look at the back wheel. And yes, lo and behold, I had indeed punctured. So I set about trying to replace the inner tube. Frustratingly, the tire was extremely tight on the wheel and was virtually impossible to get off. But after about 20 minutes of struggling, I eventually managed it and replaced the tube, only to find that the bloody thing would just not inflate. So after another 20 minutes of struggling, I put a third tube in. Let's see how my foul-mouthed evil twin's getting on. After a further hour of frustration and swearing, I eventually managed to get going and limp home. Fortunately, I was only about four kilometers away and it didn't take me long to get back. The next morning, I spent in the comfort of my own home, in the warm, in the dry, replacing the inner tube, making sure everything was 100% correct. As I set out on the road before I was rudely interrupted, I have now swapped over to my specialised Alley, which is essentially my winter bike. Now, I bought this bike back in 2013 when I was working out in Boston in the US. It cost me just under $400 and it's an entry level aluminium framed road bike so it's quite heavy it's quite clunky but that's perfect for winter riding uh, and I was jolly glad of it because it took me into some interesting places in rural Massachusetts so places like Natick and Framingham and Newton and then back into the city again. Riding it round here in the winter is perfect because the roads are pretty wet they're pretty muddy and all I need to do when I bring it home is wash it down and then it's ready to go out again. Okay, let's try this again. So here I am again and the good news is the inner tube appears to be holding. I've only done about three kilometers so far. So that's good news. The bad news though is that this hammerhead Karoo that I'm trying out just will not pair with the heart sensor and the cadence sensor at the same time. Most annoying. Um, I'm sure it's something I'm doing wrong but uh, I'll have a look at it when I get home. see the weather today is not great it's been raining uh, so the roads are pretty damp it might rain later on as well uh, and it's also quite chilly at seven degrees Celsius but uh, thanks to a couple of very nice people called Daria 
and Olivia um, from a company over in Belgium called 37. I'm toasty warm because I'm trying out a, a heated under jersey that they very kindly sent me. Uh, it basically has a kind of a, a mesh arrangement in there. Charge up a couple of lithium ion batteries, stick them in the uh, pockets and it uh, heats up the mesh and keeps your back nice and warm. Uh, so far it's working really really well. They're also very kind enough to send me a pair of heated gloves but uh, I'm not wearing those today. They are a little kind of uh, chunky and uh, I tried them out yesterday but it was just very difficult to vlog simply because they were too chunky. They worked absolutely fantastic though. Similar arrangement, put the batteries in the gloves and then there's an element in the glove that heats up and warms your hands. So thank you very much Daria and Olivia. What a pain in the ass. Um, I've just had an explosive puncture, so there's obviously something wrong with that wheel, or I've pumped the tire up too high. Um, it just begs belief. This is like the fourth tube I've put in there. Um, so I am now stranded. I'm 10 kilometers from home. Um, I will try and fix it, but uh, I'm not holding out too much hope for it. Um, I may have to call my neighbor. To my complete surprise, I managed to fix the puncture first time, so I didn't need to call my neighbor and get him to come out and rescue me. Instead, I met up with my cycling chum, Des, and we cycled to a very nice cafe where we had a cup of tea. When we left, it was dark and it was chucking down with rain, but luckily I was only about four or five kilometers from home and it wasn't long before I was back. Riding in the dark and in the rain was actually pretty good. Um, it was quite an adventure um, and very refreshing with the rain. But again, the heated base layer that I was wearing was keeping my back warm. So it was, it was all very pleasant and kind of completely changed my attitude about riding in the rain. So now that I'm home, I might as well give you a quick tour of the heated gloves and the heated base layer now that I'm not wearing it. As you can see, the base layer itself is pretty standard stuff. It's fairly lightweight, um, but it does have this kind of thing at the back where you put the, uh, the heated mesh into it. You can take it out and wash the base layer itself, but obviously being electrical, you wouldn't be able to do that with the mesh layer. It comes complete with a couple of little lithium ion batteries and a charger. You just plug it all in, the batteries charge up. As I say, you put the batteries in the pockets and it heats the mesh up and keeps you nice and warm. And it's a very similar arrangement with the gloves. As you can see, the gloves themselves are pretty substantial. And if you're riding here in the UK, unless you're riding in the sub-zero temperatures that we occasionally get, my guess is that you could probably get away without using the heating element part of them. If you do want to use the batteries, switching it all on and off is very easy and straightforward as they have very large on off buttons on the side of each glove. Now, as I set out on the road, I'm not gonna use these for every single ride, but that's only because I'm going to be vlogging. And with the thicker fingers, it just makes it very, very difficult to get the camera out of my rear pouch in my jersey, switch it on, switch it off, and then put it back in again. But for the rides where I'm not going to vlog and it's pretty cold, I think I will be taking them out because my hands do get quite chilly. On reflection, it's not been a bad week of cycling. My coldy fluey thing that I've been suffering with over the last couple of weeks has completely cleared up, so I'm fit to get back on the bike again. 
I've done a couple of really enjoyable Zwift sessions. And yes, okay, the rides that I have done out on the road have been a bit punctury and a bit frustrating, but the Alley itself is a really nice bike to ride. It's very comfortable, it feels just right, and I really enjoy riding it. Plus, I may also have started to overcome my aversion of riding in the rain. Thanks for watching.